Yeah. Food, right? Beer Nothing more. paired with your food, even more Portland. Hey, Devin. <laughs> oh, do we have Hello, Devin? Devin? If, if we don't have Devin, yeah. I hope that means they're bringing thing. the Hello? food to me, because so I'll eat it, and it's with my favorite kinds you, of beers. No, Devin, that is so KGW. No! <laughs> oh, no! Hello. Devin's here. More alone. Devin. All right. OK. <laughs> Devin Let's at seven. <laughs> Let's talk food, let's talk beer. <laughs> Here at Il Salito in Southwest Portland, joined by Executive Chef Matt Sigler. Tell me about this event coming up tomorrow. Um, what is it? Yeah, so it's a, just a little uh, beer pairing, sour beer pairing. You know, it's, uh, we're lucky to be in Portland, so with a really great community, a lot of talented people doing a lot of talented things. So the homie Mike uh, Mathis over here does uh, sour beer. So you guys are friends? Yes, absolutely, man. Same How'd you guys come up with this idea? Uh, just uh, we've always kind of talked like food, big food friends and stuff. So I love this beer. I think it's like it goes so well with food. And I think it's like something good to kind of show people, showcase what it can do. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of brought some beers together and picked out a menu and and we're going to throw a cool party tomorrow. Awesome. What kind of food is on the menu? Uh, so like uh, with this, like uh, with this raspberry sour, we're doing like a charred beet salad. It's got a tried blueberry mosarda, some pear puree. Um, we're doing like a uh, cocoa, a foie gras stuffed cocoa pasta with uh, braised duck legs. Um, doing a venison shoulder, and then we're gonna do a cool pistachio and malted strawberry dessert. Wow, all right. So of course with the beer, or with the food comes the beer. This isn't normal beer. I've never heard of sour beer. What is sour beer? Yes, yeah, so uh, our sour beer, essentially, we, we originally we started out as a, a normal beer that we brew with ale yeast. At that point, we then barrel it down into mostly wine barrels or bourbon barrels. Uh, we then re-ferment it with a, a bacteria, a lactic acid producing bacteria specifically, to produce our lactic acid, and that takes about eight more months, uh, and that creates that sourness. And then a lot of our beers are fruit forward. We actually get a uh, whole fruit from the Northwest that we referment, much like wine, uh, to bring out this fruit characteristic um, and still have that acidity, but also create a complexity. That's pretty much the nutshell of our sour beer. So most people think uh, when, you, when you pair food, you, you kind of go more the wine. What, is, uh, what does the beer add, add to it? Uh, fortunately for our sour beer, um, we are kind of like that gateway uh, beer for a lot of wine drinkers, uh, and I think Kind of like what Chef had said, like this beer goes really well with food and like the different dynamics between all of the beers kind of present differently. Uh, so it's nice to be able to prepare something that can stand up to a little more like residual like uh, like fat or, or cheese and you're actually using that acidity to cut through that. So you kind of get a fresh bite every single time. So we kind of have a, a fun way to enjoy the food and the beer at the same time. All right, thank you guys both. Again, uh, you can find out more information on your website. Yes, and eventbrite.com, yeah. There we go. And how much are your tickets? Uh, 85, I think. 85 a person? 95 a person. 95 a person. All right, <laughs> we're nailing this down at the last second. Cassidy, back to you. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. I'm like drooling over here. Sour beers are my favorite, and Cascade makes really good ones. So thank you guys. Still